Hey now, PD Grizz here. Swiss Army Grizz, back at it. Got something so freaking cool. Uh, I just got this in the mail yesterday. Something uh, a little different, but you know, let's start off. You know, we all know the Cadet. Great knife. Happens to be this is a 2020 limited, limited quote unquote edition which just mean it has colors and people are gonna pay more for it. But very cool, cute little knife. So I've got our little, uh, my little friend, the suspension clip on here. You know, what do you get in a cadet? You get the cap lifter with the stripping notch, with the, but that, uh, 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 the flat, the flat, uh, flat head screwdriver. Get the, you know, can opener, and you know, I uh, let me just say the can opener, greatest tool of all time. You know, you can open cans with it, important for getting into them peaches. It's got the small flathead tip, it also serves as a 2D Phillips. And this blue is just a beautiful shade of blue. I carry this around all the time, so it's starting to get a little beat up. But got the blue background of the shield. Outstanding. Then we've got our main blade. Love it. Gorgeous blade. Razor sharp. Does the, does the Lord's work, as I like to say. Then finally, we get the crosscut file. Now, they used to be a stippled file. And that's my word of the day that I learned from Tobias. Thank you, Tobias. Because uh, I've previously uh, been struggling to describe the other type of nail file as granular, sandpaper-like, emery board, whatever. But stippled is the right word. This is cross-cut. Very cool. So then we've got the legendary 84 millimeter scissors, you know. This is a salesman, also one of my regular pocket carries. Uh, yeah, I know. I, I, I'm a fancy guy. I can carry something like a salesman. The other guy's like, oh my God. But, you know, it, it's a knife. If if I can't use it, ain't no point in having it, you know. The coolness is what makes me want to use it. So, and what makes a salesman great besides the square Phillips is those wonderful 84 millimeter scissors that are so prized, sought after, and discontinued for no good reason. And no, the machine did not break, and that's not why they got rid of them. I'm sure the machine broke a number of times, but they didn't just decide, ah, screw it, we'll just stop making a whole line of knives. That's not how that works at all. Then we get on to the main event for today. This came all the way from the Netherlands, from my new buddy, Frank. And, uh, you know, we've been talking on email, and... Uh, uh, I uh, sent him a few knives. He sent me a few knives. Uh, his just arrived yesterday. Uh, mine just went out yesterday. Sorry about that, Frank. It, everything's just a huge pain in the ass when you have to get somebody else to do it for you all the time. But regardless, the, uh, the check's in the mail, as they say. So, I mean, the first thing to notice about this is obviously it's assembled using uh, Chicago screws, Torx screws. Um, what Chicago screws are is so that you have heads on both sides rather than having like a nut and a bolt. Uh, one of the screws is actually hollow with a threaded insert and the other one is just a regular screw that screws into that. And then when they're complete, they form the same function as a pin working on the pivots. Great little, great little setup. Giddy up there. So, same color as the other one. I, don't th I think this was just a... Uh, some scales that were blue because it doesn't have the 2020 mark. So I don't think these were taken from a limited edition. So we've got the cap lifter. It's got the flat head. It's got the strip and notch. What more do you want from it? I mean, it's already doing three times the work. Got that beautiful can opener that, uh, you know, I've been hearing from the viewers that it's just the greatest can opener of all time. And uh, they're saying they wish Victorinox would put more can openers on their knives. You know, like if they made a knife with just can openers, that would be great. Then, of course, we've got the stippled file. This is the superior file. 
Uh, there are there, Victorinox crosscut file. Actually, my favorite Victorinox file is this crosscut file. And I shouldn't be showing this one now, but I'll show it. I just picked this up the other day. A little mother of pearl action. But see, that's the older crosscut file. It's very fine and it works very well. But the newer crosscut file is very coarse and it tears my nails up. And I don't like it. And I don't like it. Then we've got this beautiful blade. And something that you notice right away is the edge looks a little different. It has a convex grind on it. Very cool. Very, uh, it's got a mirror finish on it. You know, barely ever been used since it was modified. I mean, obviously the whole knife's been modified. Uh, you can see, whoa, it's three layers. How about that? With brass liners. Those brass liners just make it pop for me. You know. This one's got aluminum liners. Nothing wrong with the aluminum liners, but there's brass line. They just add a little bit of color and it pops. See, it's got this pocket clip, uh, just a generic pocket clip, you know, uh, does the job. I would have liked, it would be cool if it had, if they found a way to use a one hole pocket clip and join it with the pivot. But I understand why they didn't do that. Probably, it would have it had to have longer screws and all that. And, you know, getting a one, you'd probably have to take it from another knife because you're not just going to go buy that off the shelf. So I understand why they did it. Pocket clip is very strong, works great on this knife. And then we've got the big boy. Bam. Have you seen a cadet with scissors? The elusive Cadet X. And these are 91 millimeter scissors that have been modified to fit the Cadet X. And the workmanship on the mods is just fantastic. A lot of times when you see mods, it is very obvious where the modifications are. But I mean, the work level on here is factory level. You know, the only reason you can tell it's modified is because obviously it doesn't belong in that knife. But regardless, they work great. They've got great action. And it's really cool what they did here is what they did is they shortened the tang. So they, they shaved a little bit off the tang and then reshaped it to be the same shape. And then they shaved a little bit off this arm so it would tuck in and close and not just clip the top there because otherwise it would. And uh, it's got a little bit of rub and rubbing on the inside there. But other than that, the manufacturing is flawless on it. The rework, at, actually, I should say. And if you notice down here, you can see a little split in the spring. And that's because that is the 91 millimeter spring that's been sectioned. So yeah, cutting, cutting something off, you know, you can cut the end off of something. Or you can section it where you cut a section out and then use the two ends. And that's what they've done here. So they've used both ends and then section the spring and cut it on an angle so it gets that nice clean fitment there which is as good as any parts fitment on any custom knife i've seen like uh you know you could compare it to the fitment of you know a, a knife that lines up with the back the way the knife lines up with the back spring it's even tighter than that so it's excellent workmanship everything was tumbled and polished to perfection it's absolutely gorgeous frank Thank you so much for this. And I have a couple of other cool knives he sent me that are going to feature in videos soon. But this is the one uh, that really made my day because this is the one I'm gonna carry. The other two, they're, they're gonna have to sit on the shelf because uh, they're a little too pretty to carry and uh, also a little fragile. But this guy is gonna be with me all the time. I absolutely love it. Uh, having scissors and the nail file just makes it for me. I'll carry a 58 that'll have tweezers and toothpick in it if I really want them. But frankly, I could get away with carrying just this all the time. Great little knife, the Cadet X mod. Um, you know, I, I'm just so happy to have it. It makes my day having 84 millimeter, 91 millimeter scissors and they fit in there. They look like they belong there because the the main difference in the 91 millimeters from the 84 is the heads are nearly the same size. It's just that the tang sticks back farther. And, uh, you know, you can see the working in there. You don't see any rough spots. You don't see any sign that anything was changed. Everything looks like it fits as if it was from the factory. And that is outstanding. I cannot say enough good things about this knife. It is super cool.